everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, a commentary podcast all about ABC's The View. We got a breaking story. Come on in. Let's get started. Come on. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me again. I didn't expect to come back on so soon, but here I am. So I hope everyone is having a really, really good day. Um, listen, guys, um, there is a breaking news story Um and I wanted to tell you about it, okay? Now, let me just say this before we go any further. You know, I'm one of these types of people, guys. I believe in accepting things. You know, once a decision has been made, it kind of is what it is. Um, and so we know that Alyssa has gotten the job. I'm not happy about it. Many people aren't happy about it. Many View fans are not happy about it. Um, some fans are happy about it. It is what it is. And so for me, I'm kind of just moving on. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not one of those people that believes in sitting in mud. You know what I'm saying? Like just beating it over the head. She's got the job. Good for her. You know, it is what it is. I'm moving on. When the show, when they announce her as the host, we'll talk about it, of course, as we would talk about it if they announced anyone as the host. Um when season 26 comes back around September 5th and she's a part of the panel permanently, um, when things happen, when stories break out, we'll talk about it, you know, but I'm not one of these people that's like, okay, now let's get a petition together. You guys know how I feel about that. And maybe if you're new, you don't, you know, it's one thing for me and I'm speaking for myself. You can speak for yourself. It's one thing for me as a vlogger about this show to put out the stories that are already out there. I don't go digging for anything. Um, put the stories out to my audience that are already out there because I know a lot of you guys are not online all day. You're not keeping up with all this stuff. You're not that interested. Like you're not interested like that. You watch the show and then you go on with your, your family, especially those of you who have children, etc. So I have no problem making people aware of what's out there. But once someone's gotten a job, I am not for trying to get that person fired. I'm not for signing no petitions. Y'all know how I feel about that stuff. That is going too far. And I don't understand what's happened in our society where people have no boundaries. Of course, most of us do. And most of society does. But you understand what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, I don't want to, you know, y'all know how we do when we, we're, when we get upset about things. We're like, always and never, you never take out the trash. You always leave your socks, you know. And it's not always and it's not, you know. So, you know, but, you know, you know, already there's this talk of let's get a petition together. You can see it happening now on Twitter and Instagram. And it's like, no, no, guys. If, if, if those of us who are really perturbed about this decision... All we got to do is just not watch the show. You know, that's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. But I'm not going to stop watching the show. I didn't stop when Megan was there. Um, Now, I did stop (laughs) for a while when Raven was there. Okay. But I've grown since then. Okay. I've learned that you don't need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because for me, I don't watch a lot of television, honey chow. And so I need the show. Okay. (laughs) So having said that, now let's go into this breaking story. Okay, guys. On Monday's show, Whoopi and Joy made some comments about Turning Point USA. A lot of us were watching the show. We heard what they said. It has now been released to the media that Turning Point USA has issued a cease and desist to The View, to ABC News, of course, which produces The View, of course. You know, we know Walt Disney, the whole nine nine yards. And they have given them till tomorrow, July 27th, to do an on-air retraction Or they're saying that they're going to take legal action. I'm going to read it to you. Okay, I'm going to read parts of the cease and desist to you guys. But my thing is, they did issue a retraction. But anyway, for those of you who happen to have missed the show, I'm going to play the clips for you, and then I'll be back to tell you the rest of the story. This uh, could take its place, and that's just as bad. I mean, there was a, this turn, what do you call it, this turning point conference with all the smoke? What, what are they, smoking something down there? Or it's like, uh, whatever. Anyway, they, they're, they were out there. The Nazis were in the yeah. front of turning out there, in front of the conference, uh, with anti-Semitic um, 
slurs and um, you know the Nazi swastika mm -hmm. and a picture of a so-called Jewish person with mm -hmm. exaggerated features just like her like Goebbels did in the Hitler in during the Third Reich it's the same thing right out of that same playbook mm -hmm. okay and DeSantis did not say anything about it nothing so it's his uh, sort of his rendition of uh, good people on both sides mm -hmm. same idea so he, yeah why trade a headache for an upset stomach because that's what's going to happen if they get rid of trump and put him in it's the same same thing i do like that why trade a headache for an upset stomach Oh, I've got a legal note. Uh, the conservative oh, group... Sonny normally does this, but... I know, yes, I know. Yes. This is our knockoff lawyer. Okay. The conservative group Turning Point USA has condemned the group of neo-Nazis and said they have nothing to do with the organization. Yeah, but where was DeSantis is what I want to know. But you let them in. Open you basket. let them in and you knew what they were. Right. So you are complicit. We'll be right back. about the neo-Nazis at the Turning Point event. They were outside protesters. My point was more metaphorical. They, you, you embraced them at your thing, I felt. So I just, they were not in the building. They've no, but you know, what, okay. you know what? If this so-called Antifa who are anti-fascist, that's what Antifa stands for, uh -huh. would go there and protest, then Antifa would get a bad reputation. That's why when I uh, hear that Antifa is... Uh, right, but that's not... But let me just make sure that everybody... Because, you know, misunderstanding what people say is very big. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So we want to make sure you... I know they were not in the building, but right. they were in the mix of people at the thing. You know how badly you gotta have, you gotta wanna go protest uh, as a neo-Nazi? Okay, so that's kind of what was said. And uh, now, a part of this uh, cease and desist, now, like I said, look, before I read this, we just heard Sarah, Sarah gave the legal notes, right, y'all? Okay. And when they came back from a commercial, Whoopi corrected her statement. I don't understand why that wasn't enough, guys. So anyway, so this is what um, this this particular story says. Exclusive. Turning Point USA issued a scathing cease and desist letter to ABC News on Tuesday. So they sent it to them today, guys, calling for the Disney-owned company to retract the defamatory statements made earlier in the week on The View or face legal action. Okay, a part of the uh, cease and desist says, quote, the false statements of fact intentionally made during the View's July 25th segment were unquestionably harmful to TPUSA's reputation and brought the organization and its student affiliates into disrepute with their public, potential donors, and a current and future business, excuse me, current and future business partners posing a significant financial loss to the organization. Okay, let me scroll down here because they, they give some more of what with this uh, this letter here. Hold on, guys. Um, it says the view host intentionally and falsely associated TPUSA with neo-Nazi protesters outside the event, placing TPUSA in, de in denigrating and false light and negatively impacting its public perception. Such action will not be tolerated. Okay. And let me just go down here. This will be the last thing that I read here where they give them the time frame. They have to have a public retraction by uh, the 27th. Okay. It says here, um, should ABC decide not to comply with the demands above, okay, and they listed all their demands, which is uh, ap uh, apologized publicly by July 27th, TPUSA is prepared to promptly take all steps necessary to protect its rights, including pursuing all available available legal remedies, seeking monetary and non-monetary damages, injunctive relief, and attorney's fees and cost. Um, and then it says here, the letter gave ABC News a deadline of July 27th for the retraction and the apology. What do you guys make of that? Wow. Now, we all know that the show has their own legal department, okay? And... I forgot the, the guy's name who's who's the head of the legal department. But the reason why um, they have the legal notes there is because those are written by the attorneys to cover the show, right, to cover the women as well. 
But the reason why Whoopi apologized when they came back from commercial is because she was corrected by the legal department. And I, I don't know, guys, this is very odd to me. Like how those of you who are who work in, in the legal field, those of you listening who are attorneys or maybe you are even, um, you know what I'm trying to say? I forgot um, what they call the attorney's assistants. Let us know your perspective on this. I don't see how let's just say that they don't come on the show tomorrow. And, and Whoopi doesn't immediately give another apology and retraction of the statements. I don't see how they have a legal case because we just heard them correct all of that in real time. So guys, this is crazy to me. This is this sounds like to me somebody uh, this organization is trying to get some money. Maybe they want to, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Like this is just really really crazy to me. So guys, I wanted to let you know this story. Listen, keep everything locked to my view on the view. Make sure your notifications are set to all because you know, now that we know Liz has gotten the job, also this right here, God only knows what other uh, information is going to be coming to light uh, before these women go on their summer hiatus in a week, okay? So thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, before you leave, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Just hit that like button. Thanks so much, guys. This is my view on The View, a commentary podcast all about ABC's The View. I'll talk to you on the next one.